Hi subscribers, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing with you on how you can set your civil 3D command buttons to suit your satisfaction. How to set it is quite easy and straightforward. To do that, after the successful installation of your civil 3D, what you simply need to do is to do what you come to this icon say that says snap mode you right click on it and click on what you click on snap settings so after i click on snap settings you click on this dynamic input now under this dynamic input this thing that says enable pointer you uncheck it and also uncheck this enable enable dimension input where possible and you click ok so now let's check it back if it's still going to be there. So by the time I'll be specifying my first my polyline, which is PL enter. So now you can see the console here. I select the first point. You can see it's requesting me to input the next values when necessary. So for me to input this value, before it was displaying some features like when you be able to specify, when you be able to specify your coordinates beside the cross. But now, I've, due to what we just disabled now, everything we we'll be supplying is going to be directly under the command buttons. So that is how to set the type of dynamic input that we want. So now, by the time I'll be bringing it in now, let's check back. By the time I will enable it back, when you come to dynamic input, and you check this enable pointer, input enable this as well you can see now you can see it as if you divine it it has clarified for us under this icon here. you can see this cross now it display what what the values of what you be having beside it and also this one too immediately you are supplying your values as every dimension is going to be showing the dimensions so uh when you check it in back and you confirm back you see now i'll just check it in so by the time i'll be just putting my body like checking so you can see it's not back it's not back so that is how to off it you just right click here and you click on snap settings and you click on dynamic input and you uncheck the enable here and you click ok oh that's fine now i'll that is how to get that done so that's fine now another thing is you can simply do some little settings on your autocad by the time you come to these three icons as this customization when you click on it you can see this place here there is a coordinate that is to be displayed to enable that you can just click on coordinate so you can see it has displayed when you uncheck it back it's going to go off you can see I've unchecked it back. So by the time I check in the coordinates now, as soon as I'm moving this cursor within the environment, you can see the display of the coordinates of each places I'm moving my cursor. So that is how to check in to uh, to check in the coordinates of a particular space on a total environment. Another thing is that you can do how to enable this line width. I've shared a video on this particular language so you can just watch it. It's very important whereby when you need to build the thickness of the language to get that done, you have to check in the language so that anytime you increase the language features, you can utilize that. So that is how to do little settings on your AutoCAD uh, dynamic inputs. Thank you.